Hello everyone, Loremaster Sotek here, and it's time for the last of the Let's Plays for the Champions of Chaos DLC. We're here, and I am looking forward to seeing what they're going to show off. Uh, based on the last three that they've done, they've kind of, typically each one of them has taken place during like a 25% ballpark of the campaign. So with Azazel, it was at the start, and then with Festus, it was in the, you know, uh, next 25% and then village was a little further and now we're here with Valkia so I don't think they're going to show us the very end uh, knowing them but let's see what they got to show us let's just jump into it oh guess I'm not looking so hot Valkia the bloody a name that commands respect from the Norskan tribes and fear in equal measure from the rest got a booty, of the though. world. <laughs> Once the warrior queen of the Schwarzenwald, <clears throat> now she acts as Korn's Valkyrie, rewarding the strong amongst Norska's finest and punishing the weak who either defy uh, her animations look so good, or though. fighting cowardice. We're going to be starting at turn 70. So, okay, so let's get you a up little to ways speak. in the campaign. First of all, in her bloody conquest to reach Sambaijin, was built, some chaos spot giving us two skulls for the price of one, and the whole. Show me a kill animation. Life. Next oh. was Festus in the Empire, bringing an end to their cowardly poxes and plays. Oh, Festus's and death animation. Festus's dreams Ugh. of the perfect room, which is oh, not the little demon. Off, by the way. With these roadblocks out of heartless the way, Valkia. we have a new goal oh, heartless. to enter the mountains of Morn and to reap the souls of the ogres. Big lads, big souls, right? We've got rifts back Science in frozen landing in the Goromatni and another in the Empire. So we can back up Valkyr's rampage with additional armies as well. Oh, and look when at the deeper the prince of corn. Be. All right. Looks also, good. our boy Morak's down there. Hi, Morak. Ah, that's right good. We find I, I like the generic demon princess. Laying look good. siege to the greenskins. Sure, they're angry, fighty folk too. So while there's some potential for kinship and alliance, we can't okay, so we got bloodthirster in the army. Nice. We lose our murderous prowess and bonuses attained from our bloodletting meter. So, um, sorry, fellas, but you know, skulls for the skull throne, blood for the blood god. I mean, what even is a Gorgon Mork? After we water the earth with our enemy's blood, we will drink whatever's left. Ooh, I like her voice, actress. She sounds nice and angry. The Green Tide have the numbers, sure, but we have chariots, monstrosities, chaotic hatred, oh, and I love a the big shrine. hungry boy. Oh, he's, uh, he's having a snack. The Green oh, Tide even has that, that animation only without the. So far, when you're fighting Korn's Valkyrie and the relentless tide of wow. Pure okay, so hate. Spear is a solid wind spell. Their souls. A giant duel. Blood crushers. Now, the thing about indiscriminate, unabashed bloodshed is that eventually you're going to turn a few heads. This is a good thing, though, as Korn has taken notice of our bloody conquest through these lands and has decided to impart some gifts for Valkyr's forces. Oh, they're so probably going to explain what that end is. Our turn before we take out Tsar Nagrand and just have a little think about what we'll want next. Oh, uh, what's this? Pangritus won a peace treaty. <laughs> no. Get him, Morak. Okay, so that instance <laughs> of violence aside, uh, we have a choice. Okay, so it is the eye so it is the eye of the gods. So the eye of the god okay, so when the eye opens, you get you get one from a set of buffs. Oh, you can get Gillian's soul netter? That's the uh that's this one of the super items from Korn's realm. Full artifacts and boons for our vassals. To a good increase in experience for so our we can forces, get demon we are units. going to opt for the latter. With this murderous okay. knowledge All right, unlocked, that's pretty cool. I think it's about time we put down these greenskins once and for all. The gates of Zarnagrand might currently yes. keep cavalry and other monstrosities at bay, considering they don't know how to climb ladders. But if you think walls will stop Valkyrie's fury, looks like some of those are chosen. Well, Maybe I can't we'll tell. I can't tell the difference yet. Just at a glance between the uh <laughs> just orc we'll ball use Valkyr's wings and terrifying speed to deal with the greenskin reinforcements while the rest of the army take it to the strategic points and everyone else getting in our way oh there we go some cop animations oh 
okay, so the demon shield's doing stuff. Woo. So what you're saying is, unlike her trailer, she can take on an enemy. And uh, uh, to top it all off, big sword. Yeah, sword well, sword with blade. our fun jaunt nice, and nice. green skin lands over, it's time to focus on our main goal, the Mountains of Morn. Ah, I love the tasty, fire mouth. Tasty I love the fire mouth. Maybe even cafe beyond, if we're feeling desserts. At this time, we're going to invest in new gifts of chaos, which become pretty powerful in the late game. We can use these to truly get the most out of our army, making our killing swift, exact. Uh, okay, so you can get bloodthirsters, soul grinders. Chaos Shrines of Corn, Skull Cannons, 35% bonus income from raising and post battle loot. Damn. You can get Flesh Hounds. Oop. Uh, let's see. Faction Leader grants 25% of experience earned to other lords. Okay, so you can like. You can have one character that's making your other characters grow faster. Plus one undivided authority for your army. Um, oh, okay. So those are undivided gifts. Uh, allegiance points plus 100% for alliances and vassals with Norska plus 100% extra tribute. Oh, here's the other coordinate one. Uh, one of the coordinate ones I missed. Passive ability. You get bl the Minotaur ability blood greed for all units. With the mark of corn. They get bonus experience. Oh, late game. We Very can nice. Use these to truly get the most out of our army. Oh, wait. Making oh, wait. Our there's this one more. time, we're going to invest in new gifts in the late game. There's we one can more. use these to truly get the most out of Plus 10 armor for armies led by corn devoted characters. Plus 25% experience for all corn characters. Oh, and the trophy heads ability for all corn characters. Damn, that's going to be nasty. Swift. Exact. And without compromise. That's going to be nasty. However we've run over time the mountains of morn are desolate raised and those ogre souls are no more but there is a definite stench in the air one that valkyr knows all too well selenesh's legions have been here and if you want to know how she feels about them just ask her shield of course if you think valkyr would forgive azazel and his ecstatic legion for this little transgression you've not been paying attention Similar to the Wonder Woman theme from the DC movies. Which is a damn good theme. I love that there was an obnoxious, some obnoxious dude that managed to hit her fight with a throwing axe of all things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I were that guy, I'd be like, all right, I gotta go. I gotta peace out. With our vengeance enacted on Azazel's Ah, right uh, there's a guy hand, riding a the juggernaut. Damnation himself the Chaos Lord riding a juggernaut. Out there, and we're still just below 60,000 souls. 60,000? That's a lot. There's a few more treats in store for us. A caravan from Cathay has opted for a holiday in most treacherous lands. Some dark land orcs are simply refusing to die. Just over yonder, a beautiful sight. Ogres, my lord. So let's get to doing what Valkyr does best. You know, separating heads from shoulders. Oh, it looks like there's a Montage. character riding a Gorby chariot? Or that might have been a unit. Oh, they got regular chariots too. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, she impaled an orc. I don't know if y'all saw that. Oh, look at those regiment of renown blood crushers or skull crushers. That black and gold. Ooh, that's a nice theme. That looks cool. Mm, that's tasty. Well, rip those dudes. Uh, I love that the. Um, I really love that the chaos shrines have unique designs. Like they they have different icons for each. For if they're undivided or one of the four powers. 
Yeah, those Regiment of Renown look, oh, they look so good. With a bloody swathe cut through the howling nice. wastes, we've got the souls we need. And some of them are even ogre souls. Are ogre souls bigger than regular souls? Um, uh, no idea. What's important is that we've hit 60,000 souls, and now we can begin our journey to the lost city of Zanbaijin. Zanbaijin. Now is the time of Valkyrie's oh, okay. ascension. Um, 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 um. Great. Awesome. Cool. Love it. Lovely. Uh, very excited for this DLC. Um, as, as much, honestly, as much as I'm going to love these characters in Immortal Empires, everything I've seen so far, it actually looks like their Realm of Chaos campaigns are going to be very, very fun. Uh, I really like the idea of corrupting the Chaos Rifts that were basically like destroyed during the battle for Ursin's soul, the original Realm of Chaos campaign. I like that this campaign takes place after that one. And so, uh, you know, it's kind of like a follow-up epilogue story with Chaos sort of getting its vengeance after Kislev claims victory and saves Ursin. Uh, it looks great. It looks really, really good. I'm super excited to play it. I'm super excited to play it with y'all. Um, I also think that the four of them fighting each other could make for a really, really fun versus campaign. Um, I don't know if I want to do it with other content creators or not. Uh, but at the very least, maybe it's something you could, we could do within our own communities. Um, but it, it looks like a lot of fun. I will say that uh, I, I, I think if I had to pick one to play with first, uh, I would go Festus for my first campaign. But Valkyrie would probably be my second. I'm not sure. Uh, she looks fantastic, though. I, I love that shield. Man, that shield looks good. But in any event, uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Now that we're kind of here at the end, you know, we've seen gameplay with all four of them. We've seen their, uh, granted, the gameplay was very cinematic and not a lot of details, but, uh, and we also, we've seen what all the features do. Um, for the most part, we've seen, you know, trailers for all of them. Who are y'all feeling is kind of your, like, let's, let's not say for Immortal Empires just yet. Cause you know, I think Immortal Empires is going to kind of bear its own video, uh, which I'll do tomorrow. But looking at the Realm of Chaos campaign, if you're even going to play it, which if not, then I guess you could just do Immortal Empires. But of the four, who's your favorite so far? So between Valkia, Festus, Filich, and Azazel, who is it that really kind of you're like, oh, man, that's I'm, I'm on this person's team. And, you know, let me know why. Um, I, I'm really always curious what kind of draws people to different characters when there's like a comparison between the four. And uh, Chaos kind of lends itself, I think, the best to those kinds of comparisons. So let me know what team you're on and why everyone who disagrees with you is wrong. And uh, I look forward to reading those. But in any event, thank you all for watching. I'll see you around. Take care.